Okay. So what happened is, I did this, I, I had a patient that I worked with for 30 years. He was a spastic quadriplegia, and when he came in, he, his mother said to him, will you follow Corey? And I said, yes, I will follow Corey for um, as long, because he was four years old at the time. Mm -hmm. And so when he, I said to him, well, he'll have to follow me because, you know, I'm a therapist and I'll be going to different places. Now look at this. Okay. So if you're an amputee, mm -hmm. you can hop, hop. You can't do that on regular sticks. You'll no, fall you over. Can't. You know, and there's no feet in the walking path at all. Mm -hmm. See that? Yes. Now, I'm sorry, can you go back to when you decided to develop these? You were okay. working with a patient who was four years old? Yeah, he was four. Well, Corey, I'm, I've been a therapist for 40 years. Okay, okay. all right. That's so the when yeah. he was four years old, he ended up having a meningitis, and it was a spastic quadriplegia, meaning quadriplegia. Okay. quadriplegia, so both arms and legs. And he's in the video as well, okay? So what happened is his parents said to me, do you want to... Um, Will you follow him for me? Because, you know, we we like you. We want you to follow him. So as in stay as and stay all stay his physical life. therapist. Yeah, okay, his therapist. Mm -hmm. So what happened is, um, I followed him when he was younger. Then as he got into high school and college, mm -hmm. he'd come to see me, and oh, he wow. only used the, the just the regular loft strand crutches without the. What are those? I those are, those are the crutches just like this, mm -hmm. without these legs on. Yeah, okay. They're called Canadian, no, no, okay. the axillary crutches are the wooden ones that come under your arm. Mm -hmm. These are the Canadian ones, okay. they're called Lostrium. And what it is, it's for people that have more neurological problems okay. or, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. Because um, if it's just an orthopedic, although I have orthopedic people mm -hmm. using them okay, as well. So, so Lostrium are the other kind? Axillary. I'm, I'm okay. sorry. This is, you're an expert okay, in this field, okay. and I'm not. Can <laughs> you okay. so break it down the, for me? So the loft strands mm -hmm. crutches are what people will use, MS patients, brain injury, yeah. pain, stroke patients, that have a long-term chronological disorder. Okay. They're going to be up on their feet, mm -hmm. okay? Those are the kinds of crutches they'll get for people that have neurological problems, okay? okay? Somebody that had had surgery on an ankle or a leg, they may get just the, the wooden ones yeah. that go under your arm. Yes. Those aren't really good because people hang on them yeah. and they get you know, problems in their arms. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, with the people, what I wanted to do, because I worked for 40 years, I did all the neurological problems at, for Health Alliance. Okay. I did all the babies. I did all the... Um, young people, the old people. I'm a hands-on therapist. Mm -hmm. And so I had young stroke patients mm -hmm. that had, um, you know, they didn't want to go on a, a walker because it makes them feel old. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. Corey, Corey said, so Corey came to me in 2010. He was 30 years old. Okay. Okay. And um, he was just using the Lostrian, just these, these Canadian ones, just the um, cuff ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And his nose was broken, and he had scars on it. I said, Corey, what's happening? Mm -hmm. He goes, I keep falling. I said, of course you do. You need to be on a walker. He said, no, a walker is for old people. I'm mm -hmm. not old. I said, Corey, you're going to kill me, you know? Yeah. So I tried to think of something. And when he walked, he walked like this. Mm -hmm. So I knew I didn't want any feet in the way of him walking. Right. So, and I said, I know I want to give him balance. So what can I do? And um, the quad canes are just, I know they always tip over. I said, what if I put legs on and put the lateral leg that nothing, no, nobody else has? Mm -hmm. And then I says, but I need to have the front and the back as well because that's going to be the balance point. Yeah. So I have, so I took a pair of lost strand crutches, small ones, and I went to Home Depot and I fashioned copper. Wow. And these three legs. And then I used duct tape to hold it on to the crutch. And then I put, um, you know, on a pipe, you can put insulation, the, the gray stuff. Mm -hmm. So I put that on the copper mm -hmm. so it gave it some depth, you okay. know. And then I, I went to a um, patent lawyer and um, 
what happened, he says, this is amazing. I got my patent within a year and a half. Wow. It usually takes, and it's right here. I'll show you. I told you I'll show you. It's right here. Oh, wow. And when was this? This was 2013. 2013, you received yeah, the patent? Yeah, yeah. February 2013. We're a big ski family. We just got back from skiing. And mm -hmm. I get a phone call from the patent. My lawyer used to say, you know, we have, um, we, we got the patent. I said, yeah. you're kidding me. Mm -hmm. The day after, you should see all these marketing companies. They call me. They no want kidding. to represent me and everything. Wow. So oh, what's yeah. been happening since 2013? Well, I got it. So what I did is I had the patent. I went through two, two engineers. I had one marketing company I paid $19,000 with. They were going to definitely guarantee me that I would, you know, they would get me a, a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. well, that was out in California. And, yeah. you know, I'm a physical therapist. I'm not a business person. Right. So what happened is I ended up um, saying, yeah, yeah, right, right. In the meantime, I contacted Medicare. Because mm -hmm. I figured if they would give me the um, okay, a code, yeah. then people could use that towards their insurance. Right. So I paid seven thousand dollars for um, the, to, to make that application. Mm -hmm. She called me back. She gave me the exact same code as the regular Lostrian crutch without the legs. So how well, how does that work then? So I said to her, "You're giving me the same code." Yeah. And she goes, "It doesn't matter." And I said, "I have a manifold, and I got three legs on each side." Yeah. And she said to me, "A crutch is a crutch is a crutch. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if it has one leg or two legs, you know, or three legs or ten legs." Yeah. I said, "You've got to be kidding me." Right. So she goes, "Well, if you want to reapply again, but you won't." This was January of 2015, and so I said. Um, well, I'm going to do it on my own then. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went to my engineer. I, I'm on my third engineer, and he's, I've been with him for two years now. He's awesome. He has the same compassion as I have for helping people. Mm -hmm. Because I went from $600 a pair of crutches down to $300. Wow. $300, excuse me. No, no problem. Okay, so then in 2016... I was with the, my engineer, and they got the marketing company with me, mm -hmm. and um, so that's when we did the video. Okay. So you, when I show you the video, that was in 2016. Okay. Okay. And then that way, um, you can see the, those are the two of the clients that started with the crutches the first time. Okay. And since then, I've been selling them throughout the country and across the pond, okay. across the pond you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> so, um, and then... It, it's just really exciting because I can tell you so many stories of people that I've helped, all right? One boy was 20 years old, and I was at the convention down in Boston, the, the Abilities Convention, and this was um, 2018 mm -hmm. or 17. And so uh, the mother came over to me. She says, what are these? What are these? You know, because I just had those at the time. And I said, Is, I've got a patent for it, and I'm a physical therapist. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So she says, well, my son. I said, what happened to your son? She goes, he had an amputation. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, sure, bring him over. Mm -hmm. She brought him over, Monica. He had no right arm oh, goodness. and no left leg. Jeez. He, had, he, he was like, yeah, like this, you know? Balance. And he was young, and he was depressed. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can help him walk. He go. He looked from the chair. Goes. You can make. You can get me walking. I said yes. Meanwhile, I never worked. You know. Yeah. And I says yes. I can. And he goes how? And I says well, I'll show you. I said see these crutches. They have wide. You know, it's a wide base, so it's going to give you balance. Mm -hmm. So we'll just use it on your left side because you didn't have a right side. Right. So I said what I want you to do is stand up from your wheelchair, put your hand into the crutch. Mm -hmm. So I, I had him stand up, put your hand in the crutch, it was this way, yeah. and so I said, now just get your balance, because we were right by his wheelchair, mm -hmm. it was okay. Now I want you to rock it just a little bit, and hop, mm -hmm. and rock, and when you hop, all the legs would be down there. Well, he went 10 feet, he pivoted around. He went running back to his chair. I'm trying to guard him on this side. Yeah. He said, don't touch my arm. I said, I'm not just guarding you. you yeah. yeah. So anyways, so I said, turn around, hop back, 
Mm -hmm. Feel the, the chair on your leg. Take your arm out. I want you to hold on to the uh, wheelchair and sit down. He started crying. Oh my gosh. Mom, did you see? I can walk. Oh. I can walk. And um, and his girlfriend was crying. He's crying. I'm crying. My husband was there with me at that time. He's like, oh wow, oh wow, you know, because the miracles are happening. Yeah. You know. So um, he says, can I take this right now? And I said, no, I'll, I'll give you a new one. These are demonstration ones. Yeah. And then I had the other ones, the smaller ones over there. And he said, do I need that too? I said, listen to me, Jack. What you have to do first is get your head on straight. Mm -hmm. You've got to get your cardiovascular up. Yeah. And you've got to get your, your right leg strong so you can get your prosthesis. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're young. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to just, after this, once you get up on two legs... You will use a cane maybe for a week and then walk without anything. Wow. So I keep in touch with him now. He has his leg. How old was he when you met? He was 24. Okay. So wow. I didn't know yeah. if he had been in the war. Yeah. Or if he had a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know. It could be anything. And um, when my engineer brought the crutch down to him, he lived in Rhode Island. Yeah. Talked to the father and the father said it was a motorcycle accident. Oh. Right. But he, he was so good. He got up. Mm -hmm. And when I talked, that was in September, I called him in January, and he says, Mrs., my, my nickname is Charlie, mm -hmm. he goes, Charlie, he goes, I, I'm walking everywhere, and wow. I said, you don't use anything, he goes, no, I don't, oh my so goodness. I told you, and I said, now you keep, you know, keep, go see your therapist for your leg, mm -hmm. and then you'll be getting a prosthesis for your arm and that, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so this helped him get up the strength to walk on a prosthetic leg? Yes. Okay, yes. wow. He had nothing, he had nothing. Wow. And then um, I have other stories. You want me to tell you other stories?